So from the video you saw, um, it's, a, it's a video showing poverty and um, children not going to school and stuff. But there's also a need for a balanced perspective that although we have these problems, I am just one of the several thousand people preferring solutions to these problems. And then that poverty is not endemic to Africa. There's poverty everywhere in the world, except for cases of, um, say, war or other extreme cases. We don't pick people from the streets that died of hunger. We have communal living that help that, um, through which people help themselves. They might not have sufficient to, to have a grandiose life, but then we are happy, we are resilient people, and then we are preferring solutions to the problems that we have. So I decided to be a health journalist, but to specify on women health issues. I believe in knowledge sharing. The little knowledge that I have in terms of health or the little knowledge that I'll get from a doctor, I will be able to translate it in a way that a woman in a very poor village in Malawi will be able to understand the importance of going to the hospital for checkup, the importance of asking or seeking for a health service because they are there, but people don't know where to get the services from. So I tell my stories that actually affect people so that other people should learn. And so so that they're your characters. The people yes, are your characters. The people are my characters. I mean, I know a lot of research has happened on the internet. Trust me, the things you find on the internet are completely different from when you move your feet to where the story is. You need go to there. Go there. Go be there. And trust me, sometimes you have, you have a fair idea of what the stories will look like. But when you step there, it completely changes the way you look at oh, the story. And then you as a storyteller, if you go there, then you as a storyteller can take us there. Absolutely. That's what you do. That's the best way to do it. So what, you, so what you're saying is you don't use the term denier because... I used it in a few posts way back in the 2000... But now you don't because... Because we're all in states of denial on, on that issue. But doesn't it other. matter if someone is a climate denier in a context of a climate change conversation? No, no, it matters if they're a dissembler. In other words, what are you actually doing? Are, are you being actively dishonest? Is that denial, or is that something else? Or are you being, or are you absolutely, are you, un, are you uneducated? Or are you, you know, culturally unable to confront? So how do, you, how do you convey to your reader that someone does not believe that either climate change is happening or that human beings are, are inducing climate change? I, again, I, I try, what I try to do is like, is it Actors Studio where they say, what's my motivation? When there's some... Marlon Brando or somebody, uh, what's my motivation? Lee you know, I, yeah, Lee Strasberg, right. So I just try, I try to convey what, what I know about someone's motivation.